Um, I wanted to buy um, a sandwich press um, for grilled cheeses and stuff like that. So I looked around on Amazon, found this one. This is the Chef Man uh, 180 degree grill and panini press. Um, like I said, it was bought on Amazon. It was $39.95, something like that. Uh, this is how it came from Amazon. The shipping label is on the back. I mean, literally, this is how it came. And what's interesting is there's not even any tape holding the thing together. I mean, literally, all it takes is that popping loose and you're in. I mean, literally, that was it. Um, so, I'm going to open it. It's like it's literally just... Why did you decide on this brand? Um, I looked at a bunch of reviews, and uh, this one got really good reviews. They said it held up well. Of course, you're always going to get those few negative reviews that are going to say something doesn't work or broke or whatever. But uh, out of, I think it was almost 8,000 reviews, and it had a four and a half stars. Uh, there was another one that, um, I think it was Hamilton Beach. I could be wrong, but it had, a, it had like 12,000 views. Uh, or reviews, and it had a four and a half stars, but this one was a little bit bigger uh, sandwich area, and it had less people saying negative things in the comments, so that makes any sense. Um, and plus, I just like the look of this one better, too. Most people were complaining that they couldn't get the, the floating hinge, which I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So, you get a drip tray for grease, so um, I'll show you why that, why you would need that. Um, here's your cord, power cord. So this is like a toasty, makes toasties. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a sandwich press. It can be, be used for paninis, which I didn't know this, but paninis is supposed to be a, a certain kind of bread to be a panini. Um, so you can't just use any bread to be a panini. I did not know that. Um, so this is it, just like it is. And you open it up, and there's the two surfaces. And you can actually push this button and it lays down, you can actually grill like hamburgers or steak or chicken or whatever inside your house. That's pretty cool. And you just pop it back up. Now, some people were saying that their hinge did not work as far as like, like if you had a big piece of bread, like in the back, that it would it would squash the backside and not the front. Well, it does have this um, hinge that kind of floats, makes it flat like this. Um, so it should adjust when you close it. So I don't know, we'll have to try it out. So I'm going to, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to get some hot soapy water and clean this. You don't want to submerge this, of course. Um, but I'm going to get some hot soapy water, clean this up really good. Um, I think this goes in. What, what, why would you need the tray? What is the tray for? Oh, um, I'm glad you cool. um, When you're making, uh, if you were to be grilling something like this, mm -hmm. you're going to have grease from hamburgers or whatever running out. It'll run into that drip tray. Okay, so it runs, so it's not going to hit the camera. Right, we'll get out, and then you pull that out to change it out. Okay. So it'll run in there. Also, when you're doing sandwiches, if you're doing like a panini or something, and you're using a lot of like um, oils or using olive oil or something on it, or liquid. A ingredients, tomato, tomatoes, maybe. Whatever. Maybe it's got some juice runs out of it. It'll come back here and drop in the drip Or cheese, yeah. even. Cheese, Melted whatever. cheese. Just whatever may run, this will keep it from running uh, all over your table. It'll, it'll pick it up. So right. anyway, I'm going to clean it up real good. I'll look at the directions. I'm a direction reader. And um, yeah, I'll show you, uh, um, I'll show you what uh, making a sandwich looks like. Kevin is making a sandwich for dinner. And now, so this is regular bread. This is 35 calories. It's not regular bread. It's 35 calories. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's not it, real bread. It's 35 calorie bread. So we plugged in the panini mm -hmm. maker. It comes on. Is with that what this, it's called? A panini maker? It's a, yeah. Or um, sandwich press, toasty, whatever. Toasty, toasty maker. Um, but you get the green light on there saying it's ready. Mm -hmm. So when that lights up, you know it's hot enough. Right. But while that's, when I plug it in, I just come in here and make my sandwich while that's heating up. That's all I do. So I've got bread, got a slice of cheese on the bottom, a couple slices of ham, another piece of bread. I use parchment paper. Works really good. You just fold it right around there and put it in here. I've got tomato back there, but I don't put it on until towards the end. So. Just lay it on there and then close it. And sometimes it'll be a little tilted backwards. I just kind of take my hand and kind of flatten it out a little bit. And it's fine. And how do you know when it's ready? And it's it's up to you. So it's as brown as you want it. You can just open it with this. You just open it up and, oh, and you look just at peek. it. Oh, okay. uh, I just peek at it. But um, yeah, it takes about five minutes roughly. So when it gets to about 
that brown just where it's toasted a little bit i just peel the top off and put tomatoes or whatever you want on there because you don't want them on there the whole time it makes your bread watery and then just basically put your top back on and close it and um, there you go it just heats the tomatoes up a little bit all right again you can leave this as long as you want to so if you want it really 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 brown you can leave it longer but i just i like mine to where it just kind of heats the ham up gets it a little toasted it's fine with me so then you can just take your parchment and just take it right off and it's ready to go and if you leave it longer like i said then you can see the cheese is good and melted it's, it's stuck um, to the ham really good um, ham's good and hot now i just unplug this and just let it sit and you don't have to clean anything because i use parchment paper okay i wanted to give you a, an ending to the the sandwich maker um it works really well it does get your uh, bread good and toasted i have to admit i'm lazy i don't like to clean up after it um because it's kind of hard to get in all those little creases and crevices and then dry it all off anyway so i've always used parchment paper on there and kind of done it that way um i can say that it works well that way but it's more like just toasting it you can put it in a pan and toast it the same way it'd be just as good um it would probably work better if you didn't have the parchment paper you lay it on there and where you get the grill marks on there and really like get the little wavy bumpy uh, pieces of the bread it'd probably toast a lot better that way too so again i'm just lazy i don't like to clean that that would be a better way of doing it i never tried any like um hamburgers or anything like that on it. i think that's a I don't know maybe if you had a, a small apartment and you didn't have a stove or maybe a, a college dorm or something if you couldn't uh, couldn't didn't have a stove in those kind of places you might want to use it for that purpose i can't imagine i've got a stove with a skillet i'll just use that to make my hamburgers or chicken or whatever um, i would never use this for that purpose um, it does make really good sandwiches now i'm gonna say um, while i agree with that 100 percent, it does make really good sandwiches can you do the same thing with a pan on your stove? Yes, you can do the exact same thing. Uh, the only difference is you're gonna have, um, you gotta be careful when you flip over your bread in the um, in a skillet because you're gonna drop, you wanna drop some stuff off. Whereas this toasts the bottom and the top at the same time. Um, it does squash it quite a bit too. So if you want a, a more squash sandwich, uh, then use the sandwich maker. I do like it, it works really well. Um, I haven't used it for a little while, but but I did use it there for probably a week or two straight. And then, then I kind of quit using it for a little while because I wasn't eating sandwiches. Um, but yeah, if you're making sandwiches, um, I only tried it on the regular bread and it's made for thicker bread too. So if you want to use thicker bread, you're more than welcome to, it works fine. Um, I mean, you could probably put bagels, you could do English muffins in there, you could toast anything that you would toast. Um, if you didn't have a toaster, you could use this to toast it just as well. So I think it works really well. It's not something I would spend a ton of money on if you, um, if you want to try one out, just you know, spend, spend a little bit of money. This was a cheaper one, so it worked really well. Um, so yeah, don't spend a lot of money on one until you've tried one for a little while, see if it really is beneficial to you, see if you really like it. But um, you know, you may find that you love it and want, want a better one, or you might find that you never use it and you, you could sell the yard sale. So I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.